Welcome back to part two. We will be turning our center piece with our eight small flowers into an octagon. Round 10 using color C. We're going to be working in these chain seven loops that we made in round seven. The loop, the loop will go behind these half double crochet of round eight but in front of our stitches of round, sorry, our half double crochet here of round eight, but behind our stitches of round nine. So what I'm going to do is sort of push that to the back, to bring it up here so the top of my loop is between those two rounds. We will be making a four double crochet popcorn that has an extra chain in it. So I will show you that now, it's our starting stitch. So we yarn over, find that tip of the chain, again, bring it behind that row eight. We'll make our first, oops, it's spun around. So I have my loop, my yarn over, I pulled up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. We'll place three more double crochet in that same chain loop. So we should have a total of four double crochet. We'll chain one, then remove the loop from our hook, insert in the first double crochet, put the loop back on our hook, pull through, chain one to close that chain one that we just made does not count as a stitch we want to place a front post slip stitch around this um, split double crochet two together stitch of last round so insert in front of it around the back back out to the front pull the loop through and through that loop on our hook chain one front post slip stitch around this next stitch chain one we'll do that front post slip stitch chain one 11 times front post slip stitch chain one front post slip stitch chain one so I have 10 front post slip stitch chain one I'll make one more set front post slip stitch chain one and then we'll just repeat that all the way around so we're going to be making that popcorn stitch again inserting my hook sort of behind those joining half double crochet to find that chain seven loop make those four double crochet in the chain seven loop chain one remove the hook from the loop insert in the first stitch pull that loop back through chain one to close front post slip stitch around that double crochet two together stitch behind the popcorn chain one and then we'll work those 11 front post slip stitch around the double crochet and chain one so you can repeat that all the way around I'll join you at the end of the round So when we've worked our way around, we will join with a slip stitch to our starting popcorn. And fasten off. And then I'm just going to pull those tails through to the back.
So you should have eight of those four double crochet chain one popcorns, 96 front post slip stitches, 96 chain one spaces. Before we start round 11, I just want to um, make a note or a comment rather. When I first worked my project, I made a mistake in my round 11, which affects what my round 15 looks like. So my blanket that you see right here is not quite accurate according to the pattern. So what I have done is worked another flower section so that I can show you these stitches properly that would line up in our round 11. And then when we get to round 15, I'll show you that on the smaller flower as well. So sorry about that, but hopefully this will make sense for you as you work your own project. Round 11, using color F, we are going to start in any of these popcorn. We're going to be making uh, what will look like sort of heart-shaped flowers. So we're going to start with a double crochet in a popcorn. Now we sort of insert in the center of the popcorn. Here you can see how I have my center eye or hole. And we go out to the back. Be careful not to include any other stitches behind that, just in the popcorn will work. We'll place that double crochet, chain three, a half double crochet back in that same stitch, chain three, and a double crochet back in the same popcorn. And that makes a little heart-shaped flower. Working on round nine, we are going to skip that two together stitch that's behind the popcorn and this first double crochet. So we're going to be placing back post single crochet around these doubles that where we worked those front post slip stitch, but we want to work above the slip stitches. So you may need to just pull those slip stitches down just a little bit to see the tops of the posts of your double crochet. Back post single crochet. So in from the back, around the front of that post, back out to the back to pull up our yarn and finish a single crochet. So you can see here how that is made above those front post slip stitches. Chain one and we'll do that eight times. Back post single, around the post of the double crochet, working above those front post slip stitches. Oops. And make sure we make that chain one in between these back post singles. So that's three, four, five, seven and eight, chain one, one more back post double, or single crochet rather around the double, no chain one, and we'll skip this last double crochet. Skip this last double crochet that's just before the popcorn and then we're ready to begin again. So working in that popcorn we insert in the middle out to the back making sure our hook is not under any other of the rounds. Make that double crochet, chain three, half double crochet in the same popcorn, chain three, double crochet in the same popcorn for our heart flower skipping the double crochet two together and the next stitch then around the next we will make that back post single chain one so we've done 
I've started you on the second repeat, you want to do that a total of eight times around. And again, I'll meet you at the end. Round 12, we're using color A. We're going to start behind one of these heart flowers. We are going to work in the top of the two together stitch of round nine, and we will see that front post slip stitch worked around it in round 10. So in the round nine, the two double crochet two together stitch, we are going to start with a treble crochet. So you can yarn over twice and work a standing treble. If you prefer, you can also join it's the top of the stitch, join with a slip stitch and chain four to count as a treble, whichever way works better for you. We'll chain one, work another treble in that same stitch. chain one and then working on round 11 we're going to place a double crochet in between the heart and the next back post single so double crochet in that space chain one double crochet in the next chain one space chain one half double crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, and we'll repeat that, half double crochet in the next space, chain one, single crochet in the next space, chain one, back post single around the back post single, chain one, and single crochet in this next chain one space chain one half double crochet in the next space chain one and repeat half double crochet in the next chain one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet in the space before that next flower chain one and that's our first repeat, ready to work that around. So I'll do that once more with you. We're going to place a treble crochet in the top of that double crochet two together stitch, chain one, and a second double crochet in that same stitch, chain one. Double crochet in the space between the heart flower and that back post single. Now I'll get that tail out of the way. Chain one. Double crochet in that next space. Chain one. Half double crochet in the next space. Chain one. Half double crochet. Oops in that next space, chain one. Single crochet in the next, chain one, back post single around that back post single, chain one. Single crochet in that next space, chain one, half double crochet in that next space, chain one, half double crochet in the next space, chain one, double crochet in the next, chain one, and double crochet in that space before the next flower, chain one. So we've worked two repeats. Again, you'll do that a total of eight times. You will join to the top of our starting treble crochet and fasten off to finish the round.
Round 13, we're using color D. We'll start in any of the chain one spaces of round 12. We're going to make a half double crochet, chain one in each of the chain one spaces. If you prefer, you can join with a slip stitch and chain two for your starting half double crochet. Half double crochet, chain one in each chain one space. Remembering when you get to where we worked that back post single that there's a chain one in front of it and a chain one just after that back post single. So you can work this all the way around joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of the round. There should be 104 half double crochet and 104 chain one spaces. Round 14, we're using color B. We can start at any of the half double crochet of last round. We're going to work back post double crochet. So yarn over in from the back, in front of the half double crochet, around the front, out to the back. Pull up your loop and finish a double crochet. Back post double crochet, chain one. We're going to work that all the way around. Back post double crochet, chain one, around each of the half double crochet of last round. So once you've worked around, you'll join to our starting double crochet and fasten off. You should have 104 back post double crochet, 104 chain one spaces. Round 15, we're using color C. We want to find uh, the stitch of round 12, that back post single stitch at the top of one of the small flowers, and the stitch that we worked that around, that's my dark color. So we're going to start in the stitch that I've placed a marker on of round 11. So those were our back post single crochet, but in round 12, we made a back post single around this stitch. It's the only one that we worked the back post single around, and that's the stitch that we want to start into. So we're going to make a double crochet in the top of that back post single that has the back post single worked around it. chain three and then slip stitch in the front and the side loop of of that double crochet to make a pico we'll do that four times so double crochet in that same stitch chain three make the pico that's twice. Double crochet, chain three, insert in that top and side loop for a slip stitch to make our third pico. One more double crochet, chain three, then we'll chain one. Remove our hook from that loop, come back and find our starting double crochet, insert through those top two loops. We're going to put that loop back on our hook and pull through. We will make a chain, but it does not count as a stitch. So this shows the proper placement of the start of this round. 
So just a reminder, um, since I made that mistake earlier on, uh, this round will not look quite the same as it should. And I've done this sample to show you the correct placement. Okay, now this stitch here is going to be referred to as the sepal stitch. Now this word in uh, um, British English is sepal and American English is sepal. which is the center of a flower. And then uh, we're going to come back onto round 14, finding that back post double that's right behind where we worked. We want to place a front post slip stitch around that double crochet, chain one. And we'll do that 13 times. So around that next back post double, we'll make a front post slip stitch, chain one. So that's three, four, 12, and 13 front post slip stitch, chain one. And then we'll repeat that again. So we should have reached, if we follow the stitch down, we should have reached that next back post single worked around the stitch that is worked around this post here. Make another C pull and then finding that next stitch behind. We're back on round 14, front post slip stitch, chain one 13 times. So you'll work that all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So when you have worked this all the way around, we want to join to our starting stitch. So I'm just trying to find that closing chain one. So I insert my hook from the center of the C pull stitch and out to join my slip stitch. And then I can go ahead and fasten off this round. So again, there'll be eight of the special stitches and 104 front post slip stitches, 104 chain one spaces. Round 16, we're using color F. We're going to start in any of the sepal stitches of round 15. We will be making a petal stitch. So the first step is to make a double crochet. So I've yarned over. We're going to insert in the center of the sepal stitch. We want to make sure that the hook goes under that chain one of round 15, but we're working in front of the chain of round 14. So yarn over, pull that loop through, and then complete, oops, once more. So yarn over, insert in the center of the sepal stitch, making sure the hook is under the chain of round 15, working in front of round 14. Pull the loop through, yarn over, and complete the double crochet. We'll make a pico, so chain three, and then we want to insert in this front loop and the side loop of the double crochet we just made and make a slip stitch to form that pico. So this is the first petal of our flower. The next three are going to be worked into a chain one of round 13. So that's my blue round. The green was with the sepal stitches. That's round 15. The whiter color is round 14. The blue is round 13. So we're going to insert in the center of that sepal stitch, pick up that chain one of round 13 that's just behind our flower. So I'm right 
here and pull that chain one through the center of the sepal stitch. So we'll make another double crochet and a pico. So chain three, slip stitch in the front and the side loop of the double crochet. And we'll do that twice more. So another double crochet in that same chain one that we pulled up from round 13. Chain three, slip stitch in the front and side loop. And once more, double crochet in that same chain one. Oops. Chain three, slip stitch in the front and side loop to form that pico. So we should have four petals. Then we're going to yarn over again, inserting our hook sort of behind that, that chain one where we worked those last three petals back into the center of the sepal stitch under the chain of that round. So, and we're just past our starting double crochet. So make the double crochet, chain three for the pico, top and side loop for our slip stitch. Then we'll take the hook out of that working yarn I want to sort of spread the petals out and sort of down so that I'm we're looking at the wrong side. We want to insert back to front under both top loops of that first double crochet. Put tail over to that side, the working loop back on, and pull through. We're not going to make a chain one to close this petal stitch. And then in that chain one space of round 14 behind that petal flower we just made, we are going to place a single crochet and then around each of these next 12 back post double we will make a back post single crochet chain one back post single chain one 12 times so my hook is kind of going above where we made those front post slip stitches. So we'll do those 12 times, back post single, chain one. So 12 back post singles with the chain one after each. We're going to make one more back post single around this last double that's before the next sepal stitch. We'll single crochet in the chain one that's behind the sepal stitch, and then we're ready to work that all again. So the five petals made in the center of the sepal, making sure our hook goes under that chain behind or just after the sepal stitch. Double crochet, make the pico. Then inserting again in the center, finding the chain one of round 13 to pull through. Oops, make sure you yarn over first. Pull that chain one through of round 13. And we'll work three more petals. So double crochet, chain three, slip stitch in the double crochet for one petal.
to three petals and then again sort of behind that back in just the sepal stitch and under the chain one we'll make our fifth petal and chain three binding the top and side loop of that double to slip stitch and then remove your hook from the loop sort of flattening down these petals finding the first double crochet inserting from the wrong side to the right side pulling out oops that's wrong there we go put the loop back on the hook pull it through to pull tight single crochet back in that same chain one space behind and then we're ready to work those back post singles around the doubles back post single around each of these double crochet with a chain one in between and ending with one more back post single before we start the next petal flower. Okay, so you can go ahead and work those all the way around and I'll join you at the end of the round again. When you're finishing off the petal stitch you may find it helpful to move the yarn sort of to the back in between that last pico and the loop that you're going to pull through to close so the yarn stays at the back. And then you would go and make your single crochet behind back in that same chain one space and so on. So I've worked my way around. I have my 12 back post singles with the chain one. I need to make one more back post single before our starting petal and single crochet in that chain one space. I'm going to join to that single crochet that we made just after the petal stitch and then fasten off. So you'll have these eight petal stitches, 16 single crochet, two behind each petal, the back post singles, there are 104 of those and 96 chain one spaces. Round 17, we're using color A. We're going to start behind any of the flowers in the first single crochet. So you made two single crochet in that chain one space B flower. So in the first of those, we will place a half double crochet chain one then half double crochet in the second single crochet so that's just after the flower chain one skip the back post single crochet and in the chain one space we will place a half double crochet and we want to do that 12 times chain one half double crochet in the chain one space. So I've made two, three,
11 and 12 half double crochet and we'll make one more chain one half double cro chain one half double crochet 12 times plus one more chain one and then we're ready to repeat that around so half double crochet in the single just before the next petal chain one half double crochet in the single just after the petal chain one half double crochet in that next chain one space between the back post singles 12 times making one more chain one after those 12 chain one half doubles so you can go ahead working that all the way around and I will you will join to your starting half double crochet but do not fasten off so you should have 112 half double crochet 112 chain one spaces So as we're continuing to make this into more of an octagon, the stitch counts will just be given per side. There will be eight sides then. So we're continuing round 18 with color A. We are going to slip stitch into the chain one space. That space this first half double crochet will be a chain two and then we'll make a chain one. For our half double crochet chain one, we'll work a half double crochet chain one in that same space. Then in the next chain one space, we'll place a half double crochet chain one and we'll do that 13 times half double crochet, chain one in the chain one space. I have three, four, Twelve and thirteen half double crochet chain one and then we've reached that chain one space behind the flower so we'll place half double crochet chain one twice and repeat that around so half double crochet chain one in each of the 13 chain one spaces between the flowers two half double crocheting one in the chain one space right behind the flower so you'll work that all the way around i'll join you at the end of the round so when you've worked your way around we are going to join to the second chain of our beginning chain do not fasten off each side will have 15 half double crochet and 14 chain one spaces and then there's a chain one for that corner or the stitch for the top of the peak round 19 continuing with color a this is mostly a repeat from last round so we'll slip stitch in that corner chain one we're going to make two half double crochet chain one in that space our first half double crochet is a chain two then we'll make the chain one space place another half double crochet chain one in that same corner space and then we'll work a half double crochet chain one in each of the chain one spaces so that'll be 14 half double crochet chain one I have four and five, 13 and 14, half double crochet, chain one. And then in that corner space, we will place those half double crochet, chain one twice. 
and ready to continue a round. So again, when you complete the round, you will join with the slip stitch to the second chain of our starting chain and then you can fasten off. Each side then has 16 half double crochet, 15 chain one spaces and a chain one in those corners. Round 20, we're using color C. We're going to be working in just the chain one spaces. We're making a lot of chains this, this round and some spokes. If you chain tightly, you may want to use a slightly larger crochet hook a half size bigger for that or be careful to make your chains loose. We're going to start in any of these chain one corner spaces between the two half double crochet worked in the same space. We will slip stitch, chain 12, Going to slip stitch back in the same chain one space there's going to be a lot of slip stitches there's going to be several slip stitches in the same chain so you might want to after each one sort of push them over to keep room for the next one now we're going to make a spoke a spoke is made with a chain eight and these are the ones you'll need loosely three four seven and eight chains then we're going to work back down the chain in the third back bump so counting from the hook we will skip one two three and in that third loop or the back bump of the chain we will slip stitch and we'll do that four more times so that's one two three four and five third loop slip stitches or back bump slip stitches we're going to slip stitch back in that same chain one of round 18 and we'll do that again so starting with a chain 12 11 and 12 chains slip stitch back in that same chain one make a spoke which is a chain eight eight and then skipping those first three third loop only or back bumps slip stitch in the next and the next four so it's five times third loop or back bump of these chains slip stitch back in that same chain one and then we need to make one more chain 12 11 and 12 and one more slip stitch in that same chain one space so in each corner chain there will be a chain 12 loop a spoke chain 12 loop a spoke and another chain 12 loop In each of these next five chain one spaces, we will place two single crochet. Two single crochet in the chain one space. That's twice, three, four, and five times. Then in this next chain one space, we will slip stitch work a chain 12 
11 and 12 slip stitch back in that same chain one space make a spoke so remember that's a chain eight on the back skip those first three back bump slip stitch in the next five one two slip stitch back in that same space chain 12 and slip stitch back in that same space so this chain one space then has a chain 12 a spoke and a chain 12 loop In each of the next three chain spaces, we'll place those two single crochet. Two single crochet in one, two, and three chain one spaces. Slip stitch in the next chain space, chain 12. slip stitch back in that same chain space, make a spoke, which is eight chains, skipping the first three back loops of those chains, back bump of those chains, and then slip stitch in five. That's two, three, four and five slip stitch in the chain space chain 12 slip stitch back in that same chain one space and again we have two chain 12 loops and a spoke Two single crochet in each of these next five chain one spaces. That's two, three, four, and five, which should bring us to that next corner chain one space where we will make those three chain 12 loops with a spoke in between them. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around. I will join you just at the end of the round. So once we've worked our way around, I'm just going to put a slip stitch back in that first chain one space and we can go ahead and fasten off. So the sides will look a little bit stretched. That will be fixed in later rounds. Each side has 26 single crochet. For four of the chain 12 loops, um, two spokes and then the corner has three chain 12 loops and two spokes. Round 21 we're using color B. We're going to start or we want to find one of these corner sets of three chain 12 with the two spokes. We want to work into round 18. So we just worked round 20, round 19 is here. So it is the second row of our color A. We're going to work in that chain one space. So we'll fold 
rounds 19 and 20 to the front. We'll start with a treble crochet, so yarn over twice, insert in that chain one space between the two half double crochet and place a treble crochet. chain one. And then coming up to last round, we are going to single crochet in each of these 10 single crochets. So we're not going to be working into our chain 12s or spokes. So single crochet in each of the next 10 singles. So that's two, three, nine and ten single crochet and then in the slip stitch just before that chain 12 we are going to place a single crochet in there as well so we're going to place a front post treble around this half double crochet of round 18 So we're going to fold round 20 and 19 forward so I can see that half double crochet of 18 and make a front post treble. So I yarned over twice, went around the post of that half double crochet to make the treble. Then back on round 20 in the six single crochet between our loops and spokes, we will place a single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then again, we want to work a single crochet in that first slip stitch of this next set of chains and spokes. We'll work that front post treble again around that half double crochet of 18, folding the other rounds down so we can see that half double to make, oops, to make that front post treble. And then working it in round 20 again, we'll single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. Nine and 10, and single crochet in that first slip stitch of our next set of loops and spokes in that corner. And then we're ready to begin again. First, we're going to chain one, and then we can work that treble crochet down in the chain one of round 18, working behind 20 and 19. So that's that treble crochet in the chain one space of round 18. Chain one, single crochet in each of these next 10 stitches of round 20. nine and ten single crochet and single crochet in that first slip stitch. Work the front post treble around that half double crochet of round 18. Let me try that once more. Single crochet in the next six single crochet of round 20. Five and six single crochet in that first slip stitch. Then we'll 
we'll work another front post treble around that half double crochet of 18. Single crochet back up on round 20 in the next 10 singles. 9 and 10, single crochet, single in that first slip stitch of this next set of loops and spokes, chain one, and then ready to start that corner treble crochet again. So we've worked two repeats together. You can work that around and I'll join you just before the end of the round. So when we've worked our way around, I've made my final set of 10 single crochet, place that single crochet in the slip stitch before our corner loops and spokes, chain one, join to our starting treble crochet, do not fasten off. So between the corners, we should have 29 single crochet, two chain one spaces, two front post treble, and then the corner has that treble crochet. The next three rounds we continue with color B. We'll be making a mesh behind these spokes and train 12 loops. So in this corner treble crochet, we're going to place half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. The first half double crochet can be a chain two, then we'll make a chain one, place another half double crochet in that same corner treble. We'll chain one, skip the chain one space, half double crochet in this first single crochet. Then we'll chain one, skip a stitch, half double crochet in the next five times. That was once, chain one, skip one, half double crochet twice. Three times, four times, and five times. Chain one, We'll skip the front post treble, half double crochet in the single. Chain one, skip a stitch, half double crochet in the next three times. It's once, twice, three times. We'll chain one, Skip the front post treble, half double crochet in the next single crochet. Chain one, skip the next single, half double crochet in the next stitch five times. So that's once, twice, three, four, and five. Then we'll chain one and we skip the last chain one space here before that corner treble. Ready to start again with our half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the corner treble, and then ready to work those repeats. We chain one, skip the space, half double crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, half double crochet, and so on. So we will work that all the way around, joining two, our starting half double crochet, which was the chain two. So joining to that second chain, do not cut your yarn. So I've worked my way around, joined to that second chain of our starting chain. 
between the corners, there's 18 half double crochet and 17 chain one spaces, plus the chain one in each corner. Continuing on with color B for round 23, we are going to be placing stitch markers in each corner for this round. So we'll slip stitch into the corner chain, half double crochet in this same chain space. So again, we'll chain two for our half double crochet. We're going to place a stitch marker in that second chain to mark our starting half double crochet, which is the corner stitch. We'll chain one, half double crochet in this next chain one space. We'll do that 17 times. Chain one, half double crochet in the next space. So that's twice, three, sixteen, and seventeen half double crochet or chain one half double crochet. We make one more chain one after that last half double crochet and ready to start again. So that's half double crochet in that corner chain one. Place a marker in the half double crochet. Then chain one half double crochet in the next space 17 times, make another chain one and repeat. So again, we'll work our way around joining to that second chain of our starting chain. Do not fasten off. So again, I've joined to the second chain of our starting chain. Between our corners, we have 17 half double crochet, 18 chain one spaces, and then in the corner is one half double crochet. Round 24, this is the final round for this part. We're continuing with color B we are going to place an additional stitch marker in the corner chain one spaces but we want to leave our chain one or our markers here in the half double crochet as well so we're going to chain one which doesn't count as a stitch we'll place two single crochet in this chain space just after that marked corner half double crochet we'll two put two single crochet in each of the next 17 chain one spaces. So two single crochet in the next 17 chain one spaces. So I've done three, four, 16, and 17 of those two single crochet in the next chain one space. We will chain one and we'll place a marker around this chain one. So that's our new corner. And then we'll just continue this around. So single crochet or two single crochet in the chain one space after the corner, two single crochet in each of the following chain one spaces. Make chain one for each corner and mark that. So you can go ahead, work that all the way around, join to our starting single crochet and you can fasten off. So between these corner chain one, we will have 36 single crochet and of course the chain one in a corner. So you can cut your yarn and this finishes part two. It will still be a bit wavy and that will resolve itself as we continue to work. I'll see you back here for part three.